Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we've got something uh, totally different for you. Um, so a while back, I had an idea for a new RPG-related digital device. Um, I'm a software developer by trade, so uh, I ended up pitching the device idea to the company I work for. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be given some R&D time and funding uh, to explore the idea a little further and was later granted a patent actually as well. Today I'd like to debut some rough demo footage uh, of the proof of concept device. This is something of a world premiere, you could say, as this is the first uh, public mention of the project. I wanted to show it to the loyal viewers on this channel first to gauge interest in the project because from what I suspect of my viewership, um, you are fairly like-minded uh, in your RPG preferences, probably. Target audience. First, let's talk about target audience. The device is for anyone who wants to play tabletop RPGs remotely with other players, but is not a fan of sitting at a computer and rolling virtual dice or moving virtual minis uh, in a VTT such as Roll20. This device allows players to use their real 3D minis, 3D terrain, real dice, battle mats, on a projected shared space. The device consists of a stand, microcomputer, a camera, and a microprojector. The stand would be attached to your gaming table surface with the camera and projector pointed down at the surface. The function of the device is to capture what's on your surface with the camera and transmit it over the internet to another player's device where it is then projected onto their surface. Likewise, their tokens and dice will be captured and simultaneously transmitted to your device and projected onto your surface. As objects from your remote collaborator's surface are projected to intermingle with your own real objects, the result is a fairly immersive and natural feeling experience where the viewer's eyes start to perceive the projected objects as real beside their real objects. The effect is a virtual wormhole and on many occasions I have found myself actually grabbing for some of the projected objects. With this method we can collaborate remotely in many different ways such as uh, tabletop RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons or board games or collectible card games such as Magic the Gathering uh, or even remote collaborative uh, drawing or uh, possible remote education purposes. The current state of uh, R&D uh, is uh, still in early stages of development with uh, many hurdles to overcome still such as cost and size of the components but as time and resources permit uh, work will continue on on all fronts so the point of this video is uh, I would like to ask my viewers a few questions uh, and just get some feedback from the community. Question number one, would you prefer this device over VTT? Question two, would other, uh, what other purposes could you see yourself using it for, if at all? Board games, card games, art, education, or study aid, etc. And question number three, what would you expect to pay for such a device in US dollars. And as always, thanks for watching and roll on.